So when a person just talks about himself, you know, it's always like, I am like this, I am like that, I did this, I blah, blah, blah. That is when you should realize that you, my friend, are in trouble because you are dating a narcissist. to talk about how to spot a narcissist so keep watching this video to find out if you are dating one or getting to know someone who's like that a simple definition of a narcissist is a person who has access of interest in or admiration of themselves so basically narcissist is a person who loves talking about himself and even when you are trying to tell him something He'll just keep reverting the conversation back to himself. So let's find out the factors, you know, which can help you determine to spot a narcissist. Number one is the I factor. So this is like the easiest way to spot a narcissist. He just loves talking about himself. He doesn't allow you to speak and he doesn't really care about how your day was or anything about you, basically. You know, anything you try to tell them, they'll just somehow they just keep reverting the conversation to themselves and it just is very disappointing number two are the second kind of narcissist so usually it's very easy to spot the first kind of narcissist because they are loud you know they're just always talkative and they just like to go on about themselves but there is a second kind of narcissist who's more shy and quiet you know they'll just sit in a corner and kind of resent your success or success of their colleagues or friends and just fantasize about you know what it would be like one day when they'll be in that position or it will be about themselves someday number three is self-image now these people really care about how they project themselves on social media for example they'll only post attractive photos of themselves they usually have a huge friend list how else are they going to get validation? Of course, when people will compliment on their pictures or maybe slide into their DMs. See, I'm not saying that all narcissists are just flirts, but I think it's easy for them because usually narcissists, you know, the first time you see a narcissist, they are, you know, very charming and they have really flirtatious personality or very good first impressions they make. But then you realize how much you're in trouble number four is narcissists do not like criticism um so see in a relationship you know it's about being considerate and um, of course being open about what you feel uh whether it's right wrong if you don't like something you would say you know you would talk about it but for narcissists it's all about them okay so they don't care about being considerate and they don't care about your feelings or you know putting efforts you know in your relationship to make you happy or for example return your calls or be on time or call them, things like that they'll be in fact ready with excuses it's always about excuses or they'll put the blame on others like why are they late or why can't they make it oh it's you know there's so much of work oh there's so much of traffic oh i'm sorry i was sleeping you know sleep is important my beauty sleep is important trust me i've actually been with someone like that hello my sleep is important at seven o'clock in the evening you know i did not sleep so i don't care what do you mean my sleep is important and then you know what they'll do they'll just put it all on you they'll say that oh you are doing so much of drama you know don't be such a baby don't be like you know typical woman don't start like this is not some sas bahu serial going on don't start your overacting number five is they are just insensitive inconsiderate since everything is about them they don't really care about your opinions or about your feelings so for example see if you don't want to have sex 
with him you want to wait you know you want to get to know him more he would be like instead of saying that you know what babe it's okay i understand he would be like oh you don't trust me or stop being such a 80 year old grandma stop being so uptight basically just lash out at you so narcissists like i said they are all about themselves they are just insensitive creeps so these are the five factors that, that would help you determine you know if you are unfortunately dating a narcissist if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please comment below and let me know what you think about the video what more relationship advice topics you want me to make videos on let me know and please share this video with your friends and please subscribe if you're liking my channel my videos please please subscribe i need a lot of subscribers still so if you are watching my videos and if you like them then please subscribe okay thank you to all my subscribers and if you want to check out my last video it's somewhere here until next time bye bye for me take care